As Julia prepares to make her way to England, appropriately, it's the Anglo-Celtic group that provides the next result from the genetic census. Of the six sample groups tested, they have the highest percentage of Scandinavian ancestry. It links them to a bloodthirsty past and a heritage shared by one Ernie Dinko. So what have you got for me now? I'm curious. As you know, Ernie, so far we've been plotting a genetic root map based on your mitochondrial DNA. That is your mother's ancestral line. But we've also been looking at your overall DNA. And it tells me that one quarter of your ancestors came from Scandinavia. A quarter of my ancestors come from Scandinavia. Wow! No doubt this comes from your father's side. Yeah. And given the time frame... It's possible that these ancestors were members of that violent seafaring mob, the Vikings. I got Viking genes? You see how complex ancestry can be? Oh, bit of Viking in me. That I kind of like that. Yeah, that explains a lot of my cousins. I'll put up the Aboriginal flag. And, you know, that's, that's the Aboriginal flag. Now I'm going to put these little Tanzanian flags in there, a bit of Kenya, a bit of Egyptian, a bit of Arabian, a bit of Scandinavian, um, Finland, probably Sweden, I don't know, a bit of German-English. Good Lord, I'm a mixer.